It's gonna be an awesome event. The excitement, you know, the sense of accomplishment and pride, really, yeah. that I got from my bro. Getting ready to just see how it happens. It's a lot of excitement, anticipation, and looking forward to it, really, and definitely looking forward to eating after it's all said and done. It's just gonna be nice to honestly cook. The idea of just actually cooking with an artist. Each time we do something, it just gets cooler and cooler. So it's yeah, it's like the it's like the combination of all all the times that we've been together and doing things together. It's like the the apex of right. of that relationship coming together, bringing the music and the food in the same house. The house is yours. It's a realization of sorts. You know, it's a big moment, man. I'm proud of you, bro. What's going on? This is Ish from Shabazz Palaces. This is Chef Tarek of the Black and Tan Hall. This is Fly Guy Die of Shabazz Palaces. This, this is, is our Turning, turning Tables. My parents pretty much cooked all the time. Growing up in a Muslim household, a lot of our friends, friends of the family, they cooked, music was being played while the parents were cooking. Music was being played while we ate. The music always played a role. And then I just felt like it was time for an introduction of how to bring the two together. I mean, it's just automatic. It just makes sense to put music and food together in one big room, right? I mean. It's a great recipe. And so because of that, started out doing the pop-up and brought music, food, you name it, together. Tried out different things, tried late night, tried fine dining, a couple cocktail parties, but the brunch was what really did it. That's what set it off. I came to a crossing point in my life. I was working. I just felt like I just needed to do more than just be behind the line. I just had that itch of wanting to work for myself. And that's where the pop-up came in. And that pretty much launched the entrepreneurship for me. I think I just from the months of just the pop-up and the, the praise that people were getting for the food, they loved the food, I pretty much knew I had my own lane that was starting to carve itself out. I clearly knew I had a skill set, but it's just like, what more can I do besides just cook? And I think teaching the kids really propelled me to this next level of saying, yes, I get to do exactly what I want. Cook food, teach kids cooking, and make people happy at the same time. I definitely love what I do. I've been doing this for 27 years, teaching kids 15. I can't picture myself doing anything else but what food it means to me and how it works as a bridge. Cooking is not a job because of the fact I know what I'm doing. Like, I know what I'm here to do. We'll call it a job just because there's a paycheck. Let's just say that. My personal musical journey started probably in the crib. My parents listened to music a lot. My dad, he felt like he was a jazz aficionado. You know what I'm saying? He knew a lot of jazz. It was culturally important to him to know the history of this original American art form. I happened to pick up on the passion for it and liked it. From then on out, I was curious about music. When rap came out, I found something that I had been seduced by and wanted to like devote my life to. That's when my musical predispositions and then my desires for life and a career met, and then I was uh, off on that voyage from there. I started doing music at a very young age. My parents did it. I would listen to music all the time when I was around it, but hip hop had like a sparkle to it compared to everything else, maybe because I was young, but Sugar Hill Gang and stuff, that, that's when I got started and Curtis Blow and yeah. Shabazz Palace is formed as a group after we had known each other for a couple of years. He was working on a project of his, asked me to rap on it. I wasn't really rapping or doing much music at the time, but I ended up working with him and it came out good. We kept hanging out as friends. He used to always say that I should keep making music because I was in a group. Back in the days, I stopped making music, but he encouraged me, and that's kind of how the group formed. I got it. Yo, T! What's hey, good, Fambo? What's good? What's good? Chilling, what's good? Man. How are you? Mission die, die. Yes, yes. How yes, are you sir. doing? Yes, sir. So how y'all doing? So, where we meet? Man, that's a really good question. Yeah, yeah, it's like when you, unless it's a pretty girl, you never remember where you met a guy. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? He, he could be your best friend, but you that. don't really quite remember. <laughs> nah, but we just been orbiting around each other for, for a while, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. I think the matching between us and Tarek fits because he, like us, just want to be respected and accepted and get what you get 
from the passion that you put into what you do. Of course, you got ambition and want success, but you also want to have the substance and the pride that comes along with doing things according to what you think and believe. We relate on that level. We, we orbit around each other and other brothers and sisters that we know with that as the basis. It fits because we respect each other and respect how each other gets down. You know what I mean? There's some Indian curry right there. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's for you, man. Here's a Thai dry version of chili. Okay. Y'all can just split that up and share that. Kind of know everybody, and everybody knows everybody right. here, you know? I think there's a certain organic approach to life in Seattle. That's what I think is unique about this situation, is that we feel that same way, you know what I'm saying? We know it's local, we know it's Seattle, and we all know we've lived other places and gone out and survived in the world, but to be doing it at home is big. For Seattle, it continues what has always happened here creativity, ambition, and a sense of giving something for what you get in return, which is patronage or customers or however you want to look at it. A long run, not just a, a pop-up or a startup, you right. know, like something that's going to finish up. All the places we've been in the world, Seattle still remains at the top of the list, you know, because it does have a unique atmosphere, you know. It's home, it's very familiar. I could take a breath and I feel like, yeah, I'm home, so. All right, everybody ready to eat some food? Yeah. Uh, okay, we're first course, we're gonna start off actually with uh, potato fritters. In Morocco, they're called makuda. There's a little potato, there's about 10 spices, a little bit of olive oil, garlic, lemon, and we're gonna serve it with two sauces. I think that goes with a nice pairing of what we got for the intro. Ready to do this? Ready to do this. Let's do this. Our first song is called Effeminence. Life. Blows my way. I'm talking about my love for the ladies. Mm. Life blows when I sway. Talking about my love for the ladies. Mm. Life blows, I play in it. Yeah, man, I'm just talking about my love for the ladies. Life blows, I play. Talking about my love for the ladies. A1 silhouette, little red corvette, my will is set. O2 chill or sweat, is it thrills or bills or jets? She in her latest smile, fools rush in, chumps wait a while. She fine as blended grape, the winds of fate. I intoxicate, loaded on the The bees congregate, just the in me natural state though. They know that I, I appreciate it, yeah, that birthday cake. Dream and imagine my attention bears the fruits of lust. Into chance I pour my trust. Delicious phases, gorgeous touch or what? No one dream is enough. Intelligence self-replicate. Passion, that's a wilderness. Towards roundness is my glance escape. Deities, these feminists are. Oh, these paradigms, they shine, look very fine. Mm. Lit up in line. It's the same every time it seems that life blows my way. Talking about my love for the ladies. Hey! I know a lot of people. What you shooting? What's up, brother? How you doing this morning, man? Good. Oh, good, man. You know, another working day. My food is the people, period. I just think about the bus rides, someone's house, and it'd be a Middle Eastern family giving me a big foil pan of dinner. It's my Pakistani friends hanging out with them before they go on Hajj. Or it's growing up here in the South End, going to Wigwam, passing by all the Cambodian spots. It is a mesh of people that have been a part of my life 24-7. Guess who's back? All those cultures are on one plate. If I can create a dish with all these different cultures on one plate in, and harmonize, then why not as people can we not harmonize? So the goal is to use the food as a way for folks to accidentally be at the same table. Am I winning? Yes. Will I keep on winning? Yes. I can remember hearing rap songs like Eric B is president and my melody, and then like deciding at any cost that this is what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like 
I can or can't, it was like, I have to. And it was just passion, and that passion fuels belief. And whether the belief is rational or not, for you, it makes the only sense, because you have to do it. And around ninth, 10th grade is when I was like, yeah, this is what I'm gonna make my life about. Have you been over basketball? Definitely, that's crazy. That's crazy. I've always done music, you know what I'm saying? I was traveling around the world before I met him and we started working together. I remember even trying to get in contact with him, oddly enough, a little bit after high school trying to work with him. I knew once he was like, yeah, let's make some music. I knew that wasn't a light decision. Like I would tell him, like, if we do something together, it can be special. I'm not gassing that up. But I also just didn't say it, I would prove it. It's every day I'm like, yo, we can be great. We can contribute our own piece to this puzzle and if people like it, they do. If not, we'll be happy and we can keep going. We can be on some sunrise, you know what I'm saying? Black and Tan Hall, how do I start? I just felt like there has to be a way to create a space in this ever-changing, fast-paced city and create a stamp. You know, I don't really believe in just trying, you know, we gotta do. And that's where the Black and Tan Hall idea just came about. It was just really about how to create a community-based, community-funded space with the intention of just saying, all is welcome. This space is very important to me because of that, you know. It's gonna be nice to see everybody coming in here on a daily basis. You know, it's all about community at the end. Oh, the pink peppercorns, huh? Man, I'm a pepper guy, dog. I got all types oh, of man. All types you got of the salt and the all kinds. Peppercorns, you ever had those? Mm -hmm. It's like a long plaque. Ooh, you like salt? Here, oh, you man, got I'm this. salty. I'm, I, got you, I got you, I got you, This smells hella good. It's kind of like pumpkin pie spice. Ooh. This is a Bengali five spice. Kala Dukha. Uh -huh. Where he from? Tunisia. India? Tunisia? Mm -hmm. May next year will be two years working on this space. No lights, pulling carpet, busting drywall, sanding, painting, and just to come to this far shows that, yeah. This was just no. seeing you riding your bike up and down right here, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? I know what you're up to. Every time I drive by, the door's open, Backpack. somebody's doing construction, coming in and out, getting it fixed. Man. So just to be at the point where you can crack the doors open and, and start to let people inside and see what's going on, it's really exciting, man. And it's a proud place to be, what you built and where you, what you're starting off. I appreciate you having us a part of it, you know, yeah. and including yeah. your bros. And I figure like for these guys, it's kind of like, I, I feel like their first album dropped. It was just time. I'm doing what I'm doing, putting in the work, and now it's my time. Just to see you in your own spot, you know, and, and the black and tan, the, the, the decor, the atmosphere, the situation that, that you can cultivate socially is gonna be big, and I'm just like looking forward to kind of kicking it off, man, busting the champagne bottle against the boat, you know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. and getting it started. Man. Yeah. It's gonna be a nice monument, not only to where we've come and, and where you come, but to where we're going as well, you know, so yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. You're actually involved in bringing people to the city, and, and this is a place they should go, and this is a place that they should eat, and they should try out and come see what the cuisine's about in Washington, so it's dope. Yeah, hey, I think that you're a good representative of what's happening here. Exciting diversity, passion, and skill, you know, that's put into an environment to learn something and experience something new. Hopefully these are the type of things Seattle as a city starts to offer to the world and, right. and to be kicking that off and having something to do with exactly. the ground level of it is, yes. is important exactly. and exciting. We've played a lot of different type of venues. The smaller venues are cool because it's the old cliche, it's smaller and intimate and all, but really it's about being heard and connecting with the people. So to be able to play in this spot with a brother who, quite frankly, man, I'm, I'm happy to say I'm proud of and I love. It's a good opportunity and I like. So this is even something more intimate. You really get a different side of the group. You get them in a real stripped down and intimate environment and get close to them and feel the vibe. So it's, it's unique and it's special. You know, music plays a huge factor in my cooking. And the fact of just being able to do it with somebody from the town who definitely plays an influence, not in just the music world, but culturally and historically, I think it's gonna be great to be able to just pair up a nice menu with them. I know for sure there's gonna be a lot of Moroccan influence. It's gonna be a slamming African menu. Let's just say that. 
So, how was those fritters? Y'all like those? That was good? Good? Entree course is gonna be lamb kofta, so ground lamb with a spice blend that comes from the Black Sea region. Really flavorful, we got some creamy farro, a little bit of creme fresh yogurt in there, some pickled slaw, and pita breadcrumbs. I kinda did like my take on a lamb pita. Enjoy yourselves, thank you. Our next song is a song that we have called They Come in Gold. Vanity. I love you for myself. It's me and always you and always never no one else. Sanity, a vestige of my wealth. I'm lost but always found but for the idols that I dealt. Strategy, the only way to cry. Keep it do or die and only think in terms of I. Revelry, some legend futures past. It's revelry instead. Hey, it been this hella fast. Pack it tough. A sound that's on the rise is shaking unrealized until essence has been raised. Several curse, that's the stage of life I go. Floating off with bags of the blood and crusted dough. Far fewer, quite simply, man, it's him. His black of filling, pedalistic, pedestrophic hymns. Darkness, the light that flashed in dead. Kingdom stellar layers to which my kind is the heir. Pass with nine. The justice game of vice, the crier said, corporate slain during heist, but um, they just walking around, they walking around, mm. always watching down, always watching down, oh, what they talking about, what they talking about, man? The future for me right now is just gonna be the black and tan hall. I think I just need to focus on one baby at a time. We'll see what happens a couple years down the road. I'm nervous. That first day, it's gonna be really weird. I might not be able to cook that first day, but yeah, I'm excited. The future for food, I think it kind of just depends on what people really want to eat and how important their health is. I see the city definitely changing for the right reasons food-wise. I see ourselves becoming less meat eaters, becoming less seafood eaters. I think the creativity level will definitely increase. Right now we're in a, a little bit of a comfort zone. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact of just what folks want to eat. And I think health being a very big issue these days, I think what we eat will definitely play a role in Washington just because of the abundance. Everything I plan to do has a purpose around food because there's different levels to food, be it music, be it visual arts, or even politics. The goal is to come out as a chef, then as an educator. I would love to take it to the next level, but that's all in time. Right now, it's just to make sure we have a house, we create congregation, some education. Everything else will come later. I know at the end of the day, I know what the job is, and what I need to do. Where we see ourselves, well, where I see myself, Hopefully we'll still be side by side, throwing down in different lands and use our experience to come up with some new music, some new sounds, and basically do the same thing we're doing now in terms of traveling, but discover something new inside of us to make some new different music and still eating good, you know what I'm saying, wherever we go. I'm not gonna lie, I never really looked two or three years down the line. The only thing as I see is us maybe 25 years from now. Will we still be relevant? Will we be those dudes that basically are wearing a FUBU 5 jersey? Or will we be relevant in our gear? You know what I'm saying? Will we still be cool? I don't look at two years. I look way further down. Two years is like, it goes by fast. How was that last course? Was that good? All right, so now we're down to the last course, which is the dessert. So instead of just doing something standard, we decided to do refine some techniques. So we're gonna have a pistachio sponge cake with sweetened tomato jam, dried mint, orange blossom caviar, a little bit of hibiscus syrup, and yogurt powder. And there's a little bit of chocolate soil as well. So the goal is to create texture, but also color at the same time. Enjoy, my man. All right. This is our version of a dessert. <laughs> it's called Shine a Light. Yeah. yeah, it's heavy, baby. When you look around, you see what's going on. It's heavy, man. But I know what to do. 
shine a light on the fake this way my peeps can have it all shine a light on the fake this way my peeps can have it all shine a light on the fake this way my peeps can have it all shine a light on the fake this way my peeps can have it all street profit sweets geeked off me i see profits Cook styles keep off me. I think you need tie squeak, jewels blink. The back critique, high peaks, calm sweet. She said I'm too deep, then she fell asleep. How that llama reek peace and I'm hella sweet. Gorgeous dashing, waves crashing, mind elastic. Smooth action, the Cadillacs was back then. You may need to get in the trunk or in the wind. Lost friends, lost for them, lost gems. All thin, it's thought that I'm lost in. Weighing out with all this chance takers cost it. Sliding corner around more law enforcement. I feel like I'm riding with the four horsemen. Damn. Tarek is somebody who is out the box. He's always been somebody who's out the mold. And I always like his little twists on like traditional dishes. He's so original and I'm always so thankful to be a part of anything he does. What makes it so special about Seattle, you can't describe that, you have to experience it. Seattle's all about vibes and it's about energy and something about the energy in Seattle cannot be duplicated. I don't know if it's the fresh air, I don't know if it's the mountains, but the vibe in Seattle, you're not gonna get it anywhere else. I mean, Shabazz killed it. They are amazing. It was a great evening. Chef Tarek, man, put his foot in that food. It was delicious. Lamb was my favorite course. It was just delicious. This was so intimate and personal. And I think you can only get that from artists in Seattle. The dessert was wild and made me dang near want to lick the bowl. And every bite was different. And I also had like some cocoa powder. I called it culinary alchemy. <laughs> People beside me were like, it's so perfect. But yeah, it's like sorcery. It was just good to kick it off here, get the ball rolling, and add on to what you've been doing, man. So this was hot, bro. Thank you. Sure. Appreciate you. It felt good to cook. It did. Anytime right. you get in a different kind of space, you got to adjust and getting into the sound, fill out the room, and make the most of it. It was a different atmosphere, but it was warm, and it was cool, man. It's good, man. I mean, the way things are changing, venues are changing, the concept of what a performance or an evening is, an event is changing. I think situations like this, where you're mixing all types of art, culinary art, musical art, visual art, dance, all happening at the same time. I think this is like on the vanguard of things moving in that direction. It felt good, it felt smooth, and I think it's like a harbinger of what kind of stuff is gonna happen in this new millennium, you know? So I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good luck with everything. Yeah. And we'll be yes, back sir. in here Thanks for some food, yeah. and plates of dinner, and Brown. check it out, man. Yeah. See how it progresses. Man. Food smells good. <laughs> I'm ready to eat, so. <laughs> I'll meet you up. I'll hook you up later, man. I got yeah. you, man.